Um, hmm. Guess we'll give some of his heavier stuff to Minsk. I know that fixed it. Oh, yeah. Care to actually collect this stuff? Oh, to hell with it. It doesn't even matter. Alright, so the party having to turn back on the second level of the Iron Throne Mines after a horrendous fight in which they initially seize the advantage, but uh, sure enough, the Black Talon elites with their magical ice arrows managed to strike down Imowen and Dainy here before they knew what was going on. I knew there was a danger about attacking from the kitchen, but I went and did it anyway, and that's the price you pay. I mean, obviously we were the victors of the battle, but our losses were more than Carrot would ever want. So, the unfortunate reality of this is that if Daviorn is on the fourth floor and we've just cleared out the first and second floors and then leave and then come back later, obviously the enemies on the third and fourth floor are going to know that the party has been there and is you know, pretty much cleared out the camp and the first and second levels and will be much more prepared for them the next time they come back. Which is just something the party will have to deal with. Hopefully they can just sell some uh, magical equipment and other items that they have found in order to pay for uh, not only the resurrection of their friends but also for supplies they're going to need when they come back to continue their fight against the Iron Throne. So, like other fights in the Cloakwood, the party doing its best to try to, you know, I guess, uh, bit it redundant, but make the best of a bad situation. Returning to the friendly arm in. Being ambushed by a very large pair of wyverns. Whoa. Do we even have a chance against them? Or should we just flee? We have antidote potions. Uh, Minsk is going to drink a potion of vulnerab vulnerability. Khalid will drink his as well. Jahir will get ready to cure poison. Karen will try to stun one of them with his wand. Okay, that obviously didn't work. Alright, Jahira will use a potion of fire breath. Actually, might be able to hurt them. Ooh, careful, Minsk. One down. Can you see? Hell of a fight. I could take their skulls. I'm sure they might sell for something. carry into the skull? No, eh, not well. Is there anything that he can drop? No, not really. I guess he'll just walk a little slow. Full plate and packing steel. Oh no, we're in the middle of the cloakwood. That's a bad idea. Alright, Minsk dropping one of the wyvern skulls. Party continuing its journey back towards the friendly arm in. And making it there after... Goodness. Let's say that was one day and 14 hours. And the other part was, I think, another day and six hours. So we're turning to the friendly arm in nearly three days later, carrying with them the bodies and equipment of uh, Imowen and Dinah here. Oof, what a mess.
Just as I thought. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Hey, hold still. Gilana, we need your services. Again. Then one down here seemed to have a mortality problem, and we need you to fix it. Welcome back, ladies. To the land of the living. Okay. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. <laughs> it's good to see you too, Emwyn. Dinier saying, Carrot, thou need a healer. Thou art not hale. Carrot saying, My lady's concern touches me, or does my look simply scare my lady? I have seen enough not to feel faint at the sight of blood, Carrot, mine or mine comrades. Carrot saying, uh, I thought so, but what came over you, Dinah, here? It is not the first time I have taken a wound. No, tis not, alas, but tonight I can feel thy pain, Carrot, quite vividly, and I cannot stand thy being hurt so badly. Wait, I think I can try something. Weakly. No, now that's better. Carrot, uh, with concern, saying, Down here, are you yourself all right? I will be in a moment. I suppose that now I know why mages should not attempt to use the weave to do God's work. Mine's tutors warned me about it, when it was discovered that I have no talent for healing, unlike many of my sisters. But art thou better, my l lord? Carrot smiling privately and saying, Yes, my l lady. Dine here is having a... Uh, a little difficulty expressing her feelings, but Carrot is really touched by that. Mm, well, let's just give everyone their stuff back. <laughs> Alright, oh boy. Carrot doesn't have anybody's stuff. Jahira has all kinds of crap. <laughs> That's Emowyn's. That was Dine Here's. This is just a cell. These arrows were Emowyn's. Actually, that was Emowyn's too. That's the cell. That was Dine Here's. Most of this stuff was. This, of course, is Emowyn's. This is more of Dine Here's stuff. Let's see, this was Emma Wins. This was hers too. Mm. Okay. We'll give stuff that's going to be sold to Minsk. Emma Wynn, re equipping. Identify this one? No. Stuff to identify will be given to Carrot. Mm 
Cold resistance, cold resistance, that's redundant. Okay. Get those identified. And go from there. Ready. Task at hand. Okay, identification. Mage robe and boots. Turns out that there are boots of speed, also known as the paws of the cheetah. These enchanted boots were once the property of a deadly assassin fond of chasing down his prey. He moved with such speed that his targets often didn't have the opportunity to respond, even on horseback. Over time, the assassin's fame spread, and though his name was never known, all knew to fear the words last heard by his victims. You can hide, but you cannot run. And the adventurer's robe. Chance to, uh, to meet the eclectic needs of the adventuring mage. Protects against crushing damage, also provides protection from the basilisk petrifying gaze and polymorphing powers of rival mages. So the 